Congratulations on the massive success of this HBO hit. I mean, it is huge. You drive down Sunset Boulevard, it's ballers. You go into any store, you're, everybody's talking about it. Dwayne's the man, you know, you got The Rock on the show, they can do anything. <laughs> but I know people obsessed with you. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. It's crazy, yeah. yeah, people actually follow me, you know the show, you know, cheer me on, they want to see, see Vern do good. Yeah. So. Nice. So how has that affected your life? This little, character of Vern? A little bit, you know, you got to stop take pictures every now and then, people want to talk and... Do they, they kind of assume you're Vernon, or do they... Always, yeah. they don't know my name at first, so they're like, Vern, Vern. <laughs> so, I, I, you know, I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking maybe somebody named Vernon around, so... <laughs> I'm own business, but, uh, now people love the show, man, they love the show, they, you know, they love football, and, um, they show you, like, a glimpse of what you don't see from these football players behind the scenes. Right. Yeah. So you went to UCLA, your ex-UCLA football yeah, player. Yeah, go Bruins. Um, yeah. tell us a little bit about your personal story. Played football my whole life. Um, Starting when I was 10, my dad actually got me to play sports. Wasn't the biggest school fan, but you know, football pushed me to go to school. Was blessed to get a scholarship to go to UCLA. So I pretty much focused on football with NCAA. You can't really do acting and other stuff or make money. So I was like, let me just focus on football, focus on my degree. Did you want to go pro? I did want to go pro. That was my goal. But once, uh, once I graduated, trained for being a pro, didn't work out. So then I was like a lot of people back home, you know, what am I going to do? Start getting bills and adult stuff. Ah, um, that that adulting is rough. It's yeah. overrated. It's <laughs> overrated. <laughs> I was like, the real world. So I um, <clears throat> so just was really figuring out, was a little, little displacing because I was applying for jobs and stuff like that, but I didn't have a resume, any work experience because being a college athlete, uh, your time is dedicated to your sport and school. So I just went back to my school, um, asked them for help, and they actually pointed me to Ballers. I got a I got an email about auditioning for the show out of nowhere. And man, God did God did the rest for me. Right? Wow. Yeah. You credit God a lot. So what is yes. your what, what is your kind of I still want to say, what do you really think this whole life's about? What do you what would you say to them? Man, I would just make, you know, man, God's amazing. I mean he put me in this place. I never thought I'd be here, you know, sitting with y'all. If you would have told me, you know, eight years ago, I graduated in 2012, but if you told me when I was in school I'd be doing this, I thought you were crazy. I'd be like, man, you know, what, are you on drugs? You know, <laughs> but um, man, he just blessed me, blessed me with his opportunity, blessed me with all type of things, and you know, at least I can do is just give him credit. Well, and now with this great opportunity, yes. you have an incredible platform. Yes, yes. What is your mission? What is your vision? What do you want to? Um, just my vision is always just go for your dreams. Just take, you know, take risks. You got an opportunity, just go for it. Even if you don't think you're ready for it or you might not be the most experienced, but just go for it. You only got one life to live. And, um, you know, just, just you know, that, you know, we all have fear, I guess. And just go past that fear. Has The Rock had any advice for you? Yeah, he's uh, he just tells me, just just do your best. Um, you're here for a reason. Yeah. This isn't a mistake. Just, you know, just do the best you can do. And, um, and I just watch him, how he conducts himself while he works, he treats everybody nice, he's humble, and uh, and he's real professional. So. Sounds like somebody we know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he's, yeah. A, he's a good, he's a good, good leader. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like the first day on set? It was crazy. It was just everything was all over the place. My my head was spinning. It was hot. I had my makeup on and I sweated all of it. All. <laughs> That's me every day. So yeah, here, just I was here. definitely nervous, but it was hot, so I just blamed it on the heat. But it was it was uh, it was crazy though, and that was really my first encounter with Dwayne, and um, just seeing him in his presence, you know, it was a little intimidating. But he was so nice and just real patient, and you know, gave me some good advice, and you know, I had fun. It was it was. I think my first thing I said that's when I was like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Wow. Just, why? Just crazy. Why is that? Just just the energy on set, just everybody moving around and. Uh, we was in Miami, so that was amazing. There was some pretty girls on set. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's, it, what's it like to date for you now that you're a baller? Date for me? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm moving all over the place, so it's tough. Like I'm always, you know, traveling, having fun. I don't have, I don't have any kids. I don't, I'm not, I don't have a girlfriend, so I'm just, I'm always down to just, you know, do whatever. What, what, are you doing the apps? That with dating apps? Dating yeah. apps. I mean, we're <laughs> dating love and relationships. I wonder no. how you date as a bowler. I mean, um, you know, the college athlete, Hollywood star. Like, how do you find love? It's tough. You, uh, it's tough because in my in my instance, I'm not. I don't have anybody where it's like we came up together before ballers. 
So, I mean, I'm just looking for somebody that just is passionate about what they do, they like to have fun, good attitude, um, like sports. So important. And, uh, and, and you know, just kind of, you, ca you got your own thing going like me. And, you, and you're busy too. Yeah, I think th I think that's one of the keys for for both women and men is to have a passion and and be tapped into truth and source and be able to come together and just not oh, yeah. put so much pressure on it, right? But that's why true. do you think that people? What do you think people relate with Vernon? Why do they love Vernon so much? What is it that's so relatable for people? I think you just say you know he got a good heart. You can just tell he's just a good person. Um, he's he's big about family. He's big about you know his his, his partner Reggie. He's lo he's loyal, and I, he's just one of them guys who cheer on. I don't know. You just cheer him on for some reason. He he's he, he's trying to get it together, but he's one of the guys. Right. He just has to learn from his mistakes. So how much are you like Vernon? A little bit. I mean, I I think I'm a good person. I got a good heart. I don't think I would let you know people take advantage of me as much as Vernon does. Mm -hmm. But it's a good learning lesson for me being in this business now and just learning from Vernon his mistakes and trying to incorporate in my life. And because um, he, he's he's young, he's successful. He uh, he gets he he gets a lot of money fast. He doesn't you know he comes from inner city, uh, and he just doesn't have a lot of male a lot of role models. I mean, in the show, you don't even really see his father, so he just has to learn through his own experience. But right. we're all learning from Vernon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, that's so rad. You have great. What are you most looking forward to personally and professionally? Just uh, just getting better. I mean, this is my first time acting, my first role. And if you're on HBO, I mean, it's a blessing. It's a great, great network. So I'm just interested to see, you know, I'm here and I, I just see myself getting better. I mean, my coaches growing up there always tell me either you're getting better or you're getting worse. Yeah. So I just see, you know, just keep going. I mean, the sky's the limit. Love that, man. Yeah, yeah. So do you believe in having a coach always? Yes, always. I think you always need mentors. People need a coach right yeah. here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody just to, you know, call you out sometime right mm -hmm. every now and then but not always just bad you know good too yeah absolutely yeah. So cool. well, we'll we've it. got built-in life coaches here at Good Morning La La Land. So anytime you want to talk, I think you got to figure it out. Yeah, he's good. Make your balling as it is. Make your all good. <laughs> so Absolutely. awesome. So thank you. Obviously, thank people know where to find the show, probably. But where else can they find you? Um, I'll have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all at Donovan W. Carter and uh, Ballers this Sunday, ten o'clock. Please continue to keep watching. Right. Be there or, I don't know, hey, you're out. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Just be there. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, La La Land.